And I think it's also just straight up human nature, man. Like I, I, I can remember being in junior high school and high school and, you know, where that, that comes from is actually indicative of us as a people and where we're scared and where we're nervous and where our ego doesn't hit where our potential could be. Yeah. And so that's more where I focus on when I speak to people. And one of the conversations that I have all the time is I didn't interact with anybody in the downtown east side until about 2006 properly because I was terrified because my ego wouldn't allow me to talk with humans in case they asked me for something I couldn't give them. Mm. Therefore, I, me, 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 I, I, I. All this this bullshit that we tell each other and tell ourselves rather. And so the first time I had an interaction with somebody, I was like, actually, no, I don't, I don't have anything. But how are you doing? Yeah. I pivoted immediately. I was like, wait a second. Of course, this is an amazing human with an amazing story that I want to get to know who spends their same seven days a week on my block that I do. So why wouldn't I want to get to know them? They're part of my community and everything changed for me, man. Like you don't have to give somebody something when they ask you. You also don't have to be nervous about it. You don't have to fake a cell phone call. You don't have to look the other way. You can just be like, hey, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Yeah. And people automatically think it's going to come with like this vitriolic response and it almost never does.